What's up y'all out here at the range again as you can see behind me nice sunny day nice little light breeze keeping me cool out here and doing a bunch of jelly testing out here today but as you can see from the title this ought to be a pretty interesting and something that people keep on asking for in these 380 tests but as usual we got the contraption out here ready to go to work I got my chrono got two blocks of gel now I've got two tests done in this block up here that we're working with but we got plenty of space on the end over here uh, it's a punch test and a nine millimeter test very interesting both of those i'll leave some links up above if you want to check those out before you watch this one but as you can see by the title on this one we're working with another 380 test and this time it's the winchester silver tips the old werewolf ammo i guess you can call this baby werewolf ammo since it's 380 so uh, i'm very curious to see how these do it's a very nice looking projectile looks like there's a lot more serrations on this 380 than i've seen on the nine millimeter version of these silver tips but this one's in 85 grain like i say 85 grain jacketed hollow point 380 now something here that i to make a bunch of y'all 380 folks out there happy uh you know normally i just use my mp performance center 380 ez it's got the three and a half a little over three and a half inch barrel but the extra is basically just a little port on the front which is no rifling so you're not getting any advantage out of that so for all intents and purposes this ez is working with a three and a half inch barrel what i did this time i've got the little smith and wesson bodyguard out here same barrel length as the lcp two and three quarter inch barrel now i actually borrowed this from my mama so i could use this for this test so i can make y'all happy with this short barrel test so like i say this one's got the two and three quarter inch barrel uh the easy i'm gonna use both of them this one's got the three and a half inch just a hair over so but anyway we're gonna do this one here and we're gonna see what the difference is between these two barrels with this winchester silver tip hopefully they both perform well so let me get all this stuff set up and let's get started all right y'all here we go as always we're gonna get some speeds out of both of these barrels first i'm gonna do a three round average on each one of them we're gonna start out with the little two and three quarter inch barrel bodyguard first see what kind of speeds we're getting out of these things this this little this little thing's got that heavy double action trigger on it too y'all this this might get ugly when we get to the jail but let's see what kind of speeds we're working with first Nine sixteen. Nine twenty. and 933 so pretty consistent out of this little thing let's go down there and check the average all right, so the three round average out of the little two and three quarter inch barrel bodyguard was 923 feet per second. That's some pretty low velocity for an 85 grain projectile. So I, I, there might be a bigger difference between these two barrel lengths than I thought. Let me get this reset and let's try out the EZ. All right, y'all, let's see what kind of speeds we get out of the three and a half inch EZ. I'm expecting quite a bit more to be honest with you. So let's see what we get, three rounds. 973. 1,009 and 1,004. So honestly, not that much more. Let's go down there and check that average out. All right, y'all. So the three round average out of the EZ with the three and a half inch barrel is 995 feet per second. And if y'all remember out of that two and three quarter bodyguard, it was 933. So you are only talking about 62 feet per second difference between these two barrel lengths. Um, I got a feeling we ain't gonna see much difference in the gel. If this stuff is that close, y'all ain't never seeing a stubby 380 test again. But let me set this up and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's baby werewolf jelly time. I'm gonna put one round into the jelly from each barrel length. We're gonna start out with the two and three quarter inch bodyguard. All right, I think we put it right where we needed it. We go down there, check it out, make sure we're good to go. All right, y'all, perfect placement down there with that shot, but let me tell you something. As far as performance, that was not good. That is some weak sauce performance out of that thing right there. I don't know if that's these rounds or if it is truly that short barrel. I could I could be way wrong here, proven way wrong with that short barrel, but if it's, the, if it's three and a half inch EZ gets that same performance, that's some pathetic ammo, buddy. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna try to go right up under that one. All right, I think I went exactly under that other one. Should be perfect placement. Let's go down there and check out and see what we got. All 
All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we got here. Basically, what we got here is pretty much exactly what I expected before I started doubting myself. There is very, very little difference between these two rounds out of these different barrel lengths. I mean, just, just negligible difference in these things. As you can see, the top one was the bodyguard with the two and three quarter inch barrel. Uh, nice wound action here. Same with the one out of the EZ, nice wound action. The problem, was, the problem is the penetration is absolutely pitiful. The penetration is pitiful on both of these. I can already tell you right now, there is very little difference between this three and a half inch barrel EZ and this two and three quarter inch barrel bodyguard that everybody seems to think is gonna make some huge significant difference. And you can see it right here, there's not. It has nothing to do with the ammo. Ammo aside, the differences in these are gonna carry over through each different type of ammo. The, the type of ammo has nothing to do with the discrepancy between the performance of these two barrel lengths. But let me get y'all some measurements on this stuff here. Here. So uh, the one out of the bodyguard with the two and three quarter inch barrel is exactly seven and a half inches. The one out of the EZ is exactly eight and a half inches. They are exactly one inch difference from each other, y'all. One inch difference is absolutely insignificant when you're talking about a 380 with this type of performance. There's no, there's no appreciable difference in these at all. Uh, if it bothers you that much, take what my test has and subtract the inch, and, and you're gonna get basically the same performance and the same results out of these two rounds, whether you get that extra inch or not. I'll give y'all a quick little look from above and then I'll pull these projectiles. As you can see, nice wound action from both of them. Like I said, the problem is that just the penetration, the, the penetration is just not there. Uh, you get great expansion on it, but again, the penetration is just woefully lacking. All right, y'all, let's take a look at these projectiles. So this one right here is the bodyguard. This one is out of the EZ. The EZ is definitely a little bit bigger on the expansion. Not a whole lot, but it is. You can you can notice that it's a little bit bigger, but we'll get some measurements on them here. Uh, that being said, both of them, the jackets are wanting to separate on both of them. Actually, I can just pull it right out of the jacket if I wanted to, but as you can see, both of them expanded very nicely. That really doesn't even make any difference because of the short penetration we got out of these. So um, I don't think there's any material in the gel, but let's take a measurement and see what they retained. All right, so both of them were 85 grains. The one out of the bodyguard, 85.1, right on the dot. The one out of the EZ, 85.3. So no loss out of either one of them. Now, as far as expansion, like I said, there is a little bit of a noticeable difference. So on the bodyguard here, 0 0.58, 0 0573 and 584 so nice expansion out of that one on the one from the ez 610 603 and 606 so very very little difference in the expansion from both of these so there y'all have it your short barrel 380 test which in my opinion showed very little difference um both of them absolutely poor performance but that you know that's nothing to do with barrel length that's just these projectiles these projectiles are definitely not a good choice for 380 you get inadequate penetration penetration from them. Expansion's great, but definitely not enough penetration. And, and as far as the difference between them, like I said, no appreciable difference in my opinion. One inch penetration difference and, and virtually no expansion difference in these things. All right, y'all, there you have it. Your short barrel 380 test. Like I said, the number one thing to take from this video is these silver tip 380 rounds are no bueno. Well, I hope this shows some people that this, this little over an inch barrel length that, that people seem to be obsessed with is not going to give you some earth shattering performance boost or performance loss. It's just simply not y'all. It's there's, there, is there a difference? Yes, there's a difference. Is there an appreciable difference in a real world scenario? Absolutely not. You're talking about one inch of penetration difference and virtually no difference in the expansion. That's not going to mean a hill of beans when it comes to a real world scenario where you were have to defend yourself with either one of these barrel lengths. I'll just never understand why people are just so insistent the, the, that little bit of insignificant barrel length difference is going to make some huge world of difference when it's just not. It's simply just not. But I'm done with the rant, y'all. Y'all leave me some comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. I'm sure everybody's got an opinion about it. We all entitled to our opinion. We'll just uh, agree to disagree. But leave me some comments down below. Let me know what y'all think.
think about this. If you did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload these new videos. If you want to help support the channel and get something that you're going to get anyway, check out my affiliate links down in the description. If you shop through Amazon, hit that link up first. Anything you buy anywhere on Amazon after going through that link, I get a kickback from them towards the channel, so I appreciate that. Check out those actual affiliate Ear Pro links. Fantastic Ear Pro and some huge savings if you go through those links good versus going straight through their site. I appreciate all my Range Game members as always for reaching out and hitting that join button and every single person out there who supports the channel by watching these videos, by hitting the thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, and leave me those comments down below. Like I said, let me know what your opinion is on these little pocket 380s, the barrel versus barrel links. Let me know what your thoughts are. But I've done ranted and rambled out here enough on this video. I got to get set back up and get a few more things done out here. So make sure y'all stay tuned for a whole lot of good stuff coming your way. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.